former Vice President Joe Biden says he does not believe he ever, quote, acted inappropriately on the campaign trail or in public life. On Friday, Democrat and former Nevada Assemblywoman Lucy Flores described an alleged incident in The Cut where Biden kissed the back of her head before a campaign rally in 2014. She said it was, quote, demeaning and disrespectful. A spokesman for the former vice president initially said neither Biden nor his staff at the time recalled the incident Flores described. In a second statement, Biden said, quote, I may not recall these moments the same way, and I may be surprised at what I hear, but we've arrived at an important time when women feel they can and should relate their experiences and men should pay attention. And I will. Biden has been gearing up for a potential presidential run. Lucy Flores joins me now from Los Angeles. Lucy, welcome. Thanks for being with us. Are either of the statements you've seen from the former vice president since Friday enough for you? I don't believe so, because first and foremost, I, I really need him to acknowledge that that behavior was inappropriate. Um, in any context or any situation with that context, that behavior is just inappropriate, period. And, and he doesn't go as far as acknowledging that. Um, second, I think that, you know, in terms of when he talks about his motivation, et cetera, we really need to also acknowledge that it's not, it's not about the intent. It is about the person on the receiving end of that behavior, that unwanted behavior, and, and the way in which it makes that person feel, especially, especially in a situation where you have that kind of a power imbalance going on. You have the second most powerful person in the country, arguably one of the most powerful men in the entire world, and, and someone who does not have that kind of power, a woman who does not have that kind of power. And you have to, you have to be aware of the kind of um, influence and the kind of presence as a powerful man that you have over others. So, and, 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 and be aware of what your actions make other people feel. And speaking of another powerful man, you endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders in the 2016 presidential race. He told Margaret Brennan on Face the Nation Sunday that he has no reason not to believe you, but he also wouldn't say that it was disqualifying for the vice president. Now, you've said you don't think Biden should run. Do you believe that this specific incident should disqualify him? My personal opinion, obviously based on my personal interaction and um, a number of other things that I do not agree with in, uh, in his history, positions he has taken, anti-abortion positions he has taken, the way in which he handled the Anita Hill hearing, but more importantly, the way that he talked about, about it recently, um, saying that he wishes he could have done more when you actually could have done more, you were so, the chair. It's so, sorry to interrupt, but it sounds like from what you're saying that you are taking issue with a whole slew of Biden positions surrounding women and women's issues. Is that correct? For me, because you're asking if that, if it disqualifies him for me. Mm -hmm. I believe, and the main, main reason why I talked about this is because this part of his history was not being acknowledged. And I think a big reason for that is because this type of behavior, unacceptable behavior, is treated as if it's no big deal. And it should be treated like it's a big deal. Right. And the media has not been talking about that. And I felt that it really needed to be discussed. So in the context of, the enti of his entire history, Yes, the, he's not someone I would support in the primary. Right. And now that's going to be that's going to be a decision that everybody else is going to have to make in terms of whether or not, um, given the totality of everything that he has done, if they believe that it's someone they want to support in the Democratic primary if he gets in. Let me ask you something. If he were to be the Democratic nominee and he's up against Donald Trump, whose own history with women is, as as we know, pretty clouded, who would you support in that kind of a matchup? That's not even a question. Of course I would support Biden. That's uh, interesting to know. Now, I want to go back to Sanders for a second, though, because his, uh, his campaign also in 2016 had issues with women being mistreated by male staffers. And you told NPR in January of this year that there was essentially a cover-up. Does that also disqualify Sanders? Do you think that this was happening in his campaign? Those are two very, very different situations. I mean, you're, you're talking about a situation that occurred within a very, very large campaign structure, and you're talking about actual behavior that a person did. 
um, those, those two things aren't even close to being the same. And we know that several 2020 candidates have weighed in on your accusation. Uh, do you think that former President Obama should weigh in as well? I mean, he was able to witness the vice president's behavior at a close range almost better than anyone. I think people should weigh in where they feel it's appropriate. You know, at the end of the day, this isn't, again, just about Joe Biden. This is about the larger conversation. Part of the reason why we're having this conversation now is because his behavior wasn't taken seriously. This isn't new. I'm not bringing up something that people have not been aware of. It was considered an open secret that he behaved inappropriately with women. But it was because we didn't treat it with the seriousness that it deserved. And this applies to all men in powerful positions. This is about ensuring that women have, they have an autonomy to their own bodies and their own space. And, and this is about consent. And it's saying if there's no prior relationship, if there is not consent, then you should not feel entitled to touch or kiss or hug or, or do anything intimate to another woman. I think it, that no one would disagree with you. Certainly no woman would disagree with you on that point. But some are saying, you know, hey, you didn't construe this as sexual harassment. And maybe this is, I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate here for a moment. Maybe this is old white guy behavior. And we definitely need to have a discussion about it and talk about what boundaries are appropriate and what aren't. But if the intent wasn't malicious, maybe it's something that can change and we can all move, move forward. Well, of course, it, I mean, it absolutely should change. That's the point. Right. But would you, would, you, would you welcome Joe Biden as a, you know, his political future if he were able to change this behavior that you witnessed? I, I mean, I I'm, I'm guess I'm not understanding your question. It, would I? If he no longer took these liberties, these alleged liberties that you described, would you then welcome him as a political candidate? Well, as I already stated, I have other issues with his record. Right. So, you know, th those don't, those aren't erased right. just because he starts to behave better, which he should. Right. All right. I want to ask you about former Defense Secretary Ash Carter's wife, Stephanie, because she recently wrote a post on Medium called the Me Too story that wasn't about me. Now, it's about a photo that shows Biden touching her shoulders. She says that photo has been misinterpreted. What do you make of her account? I think it is entirely in line with everything that I have been saying and that I also included in my essay. This is about, again, the person that receives that behavior and whether or not it was unwelcome and whether or not there was a relationship there. Right. That, this is, she clearly had a personal relationship with him. They probably have interacted in that way before. I did not have a personal relationship with him. I had never interacted with him that way before. And when you have someone that powerful who just feels entitled to behave in that way towards any woman, regardless of what kind of relationship he has with her, that's wrong. All right, Lucy Flores, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. No problem.